In the diagram below, AKS, MKG, AN, and SC are drawn such that AN is congruent to SC. So AN is congruent to SC. Okay. Which additional information is sufficient to prove the two triangles congruent by AAS? So we can prove the two triangles congruent by AAS. Let's re read through the uh, answer choices here. So AS and NC bisect each other. So AS and NC bisect each other. So if they bisect each other, that will certainly um, prove the two triangles congruent, but it will prove the triangles congruent by SSS because these two will be the same and then these two will be the same. So that's not the way in which we the, the question wants us to prove the, the two triangles congruent. So that's not it. So let me erase that. Let's look at the second option there. Uh, K is the midpoint of NC. And again, uh, this is going to give us another side. We have a pair of angles that are congruent. That's the vertical angles. So this will not prove the two triangles congruent because we have an angle side side relationship. There's no such thing as uh, ASS or SSA. Uh, that is not a, uh, a way for us to prove triangles congruent. So this doesn't work. Let's look at option three. AS is perpendicular to CN. AS is perpendicular to CN. That doesn't help us much either because we already know that those two angles are supposed to be congruent by, uh, with the very fact that um, by them telling us that the two angles are perpendicular to one another, it's still saying very similar things that the two angles there are going to be congruent, uh, which isn't going to help us with proving the two triangles congruent with AAS. Let's take a look at the last one there. AN is parallel to SC. AN parallel to SC. Well, when two lines are parallel cut by a transversal, then what will happen is we'll have alternate interior angles congruent. And oh, same thing with the other, um, with the angles on the other side there, these two angles are also going to be congruent. This will not necessarily prove that the, uh, the two triangles are congruent based on AAS. However, this right now, the way that I have it drawn, it's ASA. What will prove the triangles congruent based on AAS is the use of the vertical angles here. So now we have an AAS situation. So yes, option four.